Around 7,000 people share an uncertain future in this camp for refugees known as the Jungle, which is located in Calais in northern France. An average of 40 arrive daily, the escaping from war, famine and many atrocities, many of whom would like to go to the UK and try to cross the channel every day. But this is becoming an almost impossible task due to extreme policing. Until a solution is found, this pallets and plastic limbo is the home. Having a quick view is enough to get an idea about how life conditions here are. The camp is gradually becoming a kind of village, no longer missing shops or even modest restaurants. Some of them are in this junction in the central part of the camp, as it is possible to see in these images. This cafe is one of the examples. Not far away, there is even a proper church and a mosque, both located in this part of the camp that was evicted some months ago in a failed attempt of closing the jungle by the authorities. Refugees have their best ally in the number of volunteers who work every day, citizens who show their government up are looking to address this humanitarian crisis. One charity, Help Refugees, runs from here an aid programme to dignify and make the weight more bearable for these men, women and children to a better life. One of the volunteers will now show us around the food preparation area of the warehouse. Um, we're bagging things up um, into different amounts for different people. So here you can see we've got a bag of tea for five, whereas this is a bag of tea for two. Um, all of our bags are made for a week, um, and we do bags for two people, five people, and 10 people. Um, so at the moment we're bagging up tea, sugar, salt, flour. The work of the volunteers is life-changing for the residents of the camp, such as Ahmed, who doesn't want to appear on camera. He arrived last spring with his wife and son from Afghanistan. And we live in tin and uh, no enough food. Uh, uh, food is enough, but no, nothing, same as gas, we cooking. And no place uh, we live and we sleep. Mm. We sleep in the tin and we, when we sleep in the night, uh, a lot of mouse coming and <laughs> in our sleeping bag. Yeah. Mm. Also, when we uh, bring some food in mouse share with us, and sometimes we cook uh, the food in, with mouse share, and we become sore throat. Mm -hmm. And it's a problem. Uh, Organisations also play a relevant role for the education of almost 600 children who are estimated to live here. And this fact becomes even more important when it is taken into account that three out of every four minors are alone. These images show one of the schools of the camp. The jungle is and will continue to grow, with more people trying to avoid a life of horror and death heading to the camp. However, it seems there are no solutions for them or Calais itself. The only thing clearly visible on the horizon for Calais are the ferries that cross the channel. Heading in the same direction as these ships is the dream of many people in the jungle. <laughs>